How are y'all doing today? You, it, is, you. it is from start to finish, episode 12, and it is the Christmas special. We today we have special guest Jax. Shout out Dubba. What up, Dub? Uh, but on a real note, today, Quintus Mills, he's not on camera right now. Quintus Mills is here. He's making a comeback. We have last week's episode, Jalen Williams. We have Seth Harper, first time guest. It's a, it's a funny episode, and we have Joe Mazzell, another returning guest. You guys have heard him so before. He played the guitar. Uh, before we get into the episode, we just want to give a shout out to everybody that is showing love to us, starting with Benny LMTD. Go to www.bennylmtd.com if you want a hoodie. I hear beanies are coming from him, and he's also trying to hit 1,800 on Instagram. That's his goal right now, so go ahead, go to Benny LMTD on Instagram and follow that. Look at Jax. Uh, the Hemp Boys, Shenandoah Valley Hemp, they are definitely expanding as we speak, and they have some more products coming, so go follow them on every social media. We gave it before, Shenandoah Valley Hemp, you type that in on any social media platform, you'll run into them. Yes, and go subscribe to YNT in the morning. Uh, they're giving a lot of info, like about any financial like problems, decisions, means... A lot of car stuff. If you're looking for a new car, you know where to find them. That's a Merit Honda. That is our man, Waylon Holmes. He is showing love to the podcast. And when you show love to the podcast, we show love to you. Shout oh, also, shout out to um, Blake Price again for hitting <laughs> me up. Shout out to B. John Johnson. He hit me up and wanted to find where to... Um, It'd be cool to get a professional basketball player episode. on here if he ever comes back home. Uh, also, shout out to really anybody. Show love. Tosh, um, hit us up. He wants a shirt. Shout and he has Taj. a business. If you need your yeah. fucking haircut, yeah, I promise haircut, you. You'll see Taj, man. He'll hook you up. Not just because he's the man, but because he really does give a good haircut. So go see Nataji Alford. I don't have his Instagram right now. I think it's called Night the Barber or something. Night like the Barber, that yeah. is correct. Shout yeah. out to Taj. So, I mean, thank you guys for showing continuous love. I know it's going to be back-to-back episodes literally two days of apart. We might have another one. Shane Burke is in town. Zach Baxter is in so town. So we're going to have a couple more. So we got some people coming on. But, um, we pod, baby. Thank you guys. Anything though before we get into it? No sir. Merry Christmas to you all. I'm good. good. Let's get it started then, Maxine. Alright, let's do it. It's a wrap. All the editing. It's a wrap. Yeah, but that ain't gonna be Get into your bag, Maxine. Now in the studio, we have returning guest, Quintus Mills. Q. Returning guest from last week, J. Jay Will. J Money. I'm going to skip over Harp because he's not a returning guest. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Mizzou. You might remember this when I return. You're the only person who hasn't been on the podcast. Shout out to you, Snacky. So far. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of whack. Before we get started, I'd like Jay to Phil. thank everyone for coming. Um, it is Christmas Eve, and it is 2.30 on Christmas Eve, 2019. Um, I'm, I'm looking to, to have a pretty good time with you guys. Uh, I know you could have probably been with your family making, you know, cool... I mean, I wouldn't say cool because I don't really have any cool memories, but <laughs> you could be making some cool memories right now. Um, but thank you guys for coming on. It, how is everybody? Are we all in good spirits? I know Joe said his jaw hurts. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's from. I don't know if that. I don't know from anybody that's listened to the last know, episodes. Man. Joe, I don't know if you took that guy up on his offer to fuck you when you just started sucking last night. <laughs> um, but how are you, Joe? No, man, I'm doing good. Uh, I'm happy to be back. Last time I was here, I feel like I was way too far away from the mic, so everything was kind of quiet. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy to be back. Um, quiet guy. My jaws kind of hinder me a little bit, but we'll get through it. That's okay. Snack, how are you? You know, I'm doing pretty good, but after you bring up that jaw, it's in, I'm kind of worried about that. He's sitting right next to me, so... <laughs> he might have... I mean, I didn't hear anything about that when we got in here, so... He mentioned it to me, but maybe it's because well, he had only... Like, well, no, nah, I'm sure that was broadcasted a little more than just me and Max on the pod, but he did have a, a gay excursion. Um, yeah, I heard about that, but I, I didn't think it went anywhere farther. I didn't think y'all would be hurting. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, it well, could be a reason. Jay Money was good. How do you do? I've got less to say. I'm doing all right. Um, you guys are my family, so I guess we make memories together. Thank you, man. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was sweet and corny at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Q, how are you, buddy? Dude, I don't know if I can follow that. <laughs> So we, I you said something funny yeah. shit. That's, 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 that's that was like the beginning to like a Christmas story or something. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm doing good. It's good to be back. Beautiful. Um, we thank you and your dad again for the shirts. That was beautiful. I know we shouted you guys out the other day. We want to thank you again for that. I, I, 
like I said, I didn't expect anything shitty. I think Max said he expected something shitty, so. I don't know I, I, well, well personally, you go. You, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I just you, Max is a big pessimist. Yeah, I know. Right, well, so you, I, you can I, go I, back and watch the episode, dude. and it's literally reversed. And that's what came out of Noah's mouth. Um, in studio today, we have two people. So tomorrow's Jesus' birthday. Correct. If that's what you believe. Yeah. And we have two people in here that probably, if you lived back in that day, wouldn't be too bought in with Do we have Jews? And, Any Jews in the house? No, you. Oh. Like, back in the day, because you're not a big hype guy. So if somebody would have told you there was a baby in the so desert. So hold on, did you call me out first? Yeah. I'm not both, a big of, guy. both of y'all. I feel like you two, when Jesus was be born. sold out now. If no. you were alive in that time when Jesus was born, no and Harp would be the two to be like, ah, I'm just I, 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 I better it. see it. Yeah. I better <laughs> see it. Uh... Yeah, I mean something. I mean, I like the thought of Pesu was doing some pretty cool shit, but let me turn that towards you, a little bit, guys. <laughs> just so you can get either. some words in. I don't know how um, good people can hear harp right now. It's crazy how like does anybody like it, do you know anybody who like wakes up on December twenty fifth and says and gives like Jesus a little happy birthday song or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a song, except that's what it, that's the actual yeah, I know, but the like, point of Christmas. Do people have cakes for like Jesus and? <laughs> Dude, I'm with it, and yeah. I'm, de I'm definitely religious enough, but I'm telling you what, back in the day, yeah, somebody's going to have to, somebody has to powder me up a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm going to spit out that desert. Just hit me. Hot take. Let me see. Yeah. Put your, yeah, put yeah, your mouth, on, here, the mouth on the mic. Jesus' birthday, coming up tomorrow, all these Christmas songs, there's only a true Christmas song, happy birthday. Ooh. Uh, that's a hot take. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me process this. It's the only, it's the only true Christmas song, happy birthday. Because you're wishing him a happy birthday. Well, I guess if it was directed to Jesus, his birthday. what if I'm singing it in May on my birthday? Well, happy birthday. But that's still the only true Christmas song? No, because Jesus was not around. It's his birthday. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, but, G but Jesus wasn't <laughs> the first birthday ever in the history of time. So. Were they singing happy birthday before Jesus? Well, when? I doubt it. I, when, oh, yeah, that's I, a good question. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah, so when, a lot of people are thinking that. When? God had the first birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus had the first birthday, baby. So, <laughs> Jesus was the very first birthday. There was nobody else before that. <laughs> no, because that's... No, dude. <laughs> I don't, why don't people are thinking it? There was like a lot of people I, yeah, I'm with you. before <laughs> Jesus Christ was on this earth. That we yeah, know. so shout out to Jesus and what he does for December 25th, because... Waking up on Christmas morning, there's not one thought that goes to my head about Jesus. That's probably <laughs> That's the last true. thing, unfortunately. I am going to throw something out. Um, Jesus was a brown-skinned fella. He wasn't a white boy. I see a lot of pictures of white Jesus. That's what. Hey, did you see my? Did y'all see my black Santa pillow? I did. We celebrating black Santa in this fucking house. Ooh, I got a good question for everybody. Right. Um, so there's a there's a <clears throat> Santa. People want Santa to be gender neutral. There are certain people in the world that think that Santa should be gender neutral. Yeah. I just want to get like yeah. no. What do you mean by that? What do you mean like no sex? He's not, he doesn't have a sex. There's Mrs. Claus too though. So, yeah, so. should she be gender neutral and they just have one oh, big? No, they're crazy. They're the elves. All right, get to your Those elves honestly might be gender neutral. Nah, those elves might be gender neutral. Ain't no doubt. They might be. I can see. I can. No, they could. They do. Both of them. Any movie, they all look like they bat both ways. They definitely do. But Max, what was your like thorough question about it? Was it just what if he was just gender neutral? No, I just wanted to know what people's thoughts were on that. Oh, I think that's bullshit. I just hate that that's what it's coming to. Like, why can't he just be the man and Miss Claus be the woman? That's true. And before we go any further, I want to apologize for Noah saying fag 58 times last week in the span of three minutes. <laughs> you think you got that many out in three minutes? Yeah, he. I got a lot. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> he, said a lot of them. he said it enough to the point where me, who doesn't care about any words, I was starting to get worried. Because <laughs> I was saying that for yeah, was But scary. wait, was that during the time he was just talking? About I was it? just. The, I, yeah, I was just. All, all I was doing was. Do I have to do this again? Do I really? No, no, what's no, up no, with no. you today? No, you don't. Have to. <laughs> again, back to what's up with you, yes. Joe. Before you came, um, I go. Uh, we got. He was like, we got to wait for John. I was like, oh, for what? For him to play another song? Just busting the chops. And he goes, dude, but it was good. And I was like, yeah, no shit, it was good. Can I not bust his chops? I was back in you. What's up? I'm really I was back. In back. But like, can I not just fucking like pull your dick a little bit? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fine. I guess not, dude. He was like, you wouldn't say that when he was here. <laughs> but um, I guess no. I'm not apologizing for saying half a fag. It's just what I say. I told people what it was. I say, uh, what'd you say? Fifty-eight in three minutes. Fifty-eight. In, was it three minutes or thirty seconds? 
It was in a short period of time you said. I think I can top that right now if you'd like me to. I'm about to say, that's, uh, <laughs> that's experience numbers. Jeez. Oh, man. Uh, this is the Christmas pod, so we'd like to keep it on Christmas as much as possible. Any, um, I mean, we got enough people here. Any funny holiday memories? Joe, you? Down the line. I got a decent one. It's more shameful than anything. Um, we had a, a Christmas party at my place. I was hosting, and I'd just gotten off work. Is this like, recent? Uh, three years ago. Okay. First one we were doing. Had a bunch of people over. I was just excited. I hadn't eaten all day. I'm just drinking heavy. Everyone's bringing liquor. Who comes like, hey, man, thanks for having us. I'm drinking everything. Next thing you know, I wake up in my bathroom about 5 a.m. covered in puke. Mm. It just wasn't a good night. But so, I mean, that's not a great holiday memory. But but naked, my pants were off. <laughs> but not but naked. Did you black out? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Wait, so you had a shirt on. This guy actually. Wow. With no pants. No pants. Well, then take your pants off so we can just <laughs> relive that memory. Show, show. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the first one that came to mind. I, I got a decent one. Here, let me see that. Let's, let's hear it. Now. All right, all right. So. When I was growing up, my family, we were big churchgoers. We always went to church, doesn't matter what. Dad probably hated it. But either way, so I was probably like five, six years old, and we went to the Christmas service at, uh, what the hell, the Cook's Creek or something like that church Cook's or something? Yeah, it's, out, it's out there. And, uh, man, I, we got out, and I was pumped up this Christmas day. We are going home to rip open presents. And I start sprinting through the lobby. I mean, I'm cooking. I was big, you know. I was still, uh, I, was, I was still pretty thick. Same way you are now. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm Same still, way I'm still pretty thick. How old were you, I, dude? Five six. But I'm telling you what, five or six? No, but I'm, dude, five or six. You still didn't want to get in front of me. Okay. And uh, so, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hauling. I said, I'm getting to the car. We're going home. And man, I'm running. There's people everywhere. It's like crazy. And out of nowhere, this old lady pops out, auction tank by yay big, just walks out in front of me, she's got a walker, and just boom, oh, crushed her, steel. crushed her, <laughs> looked like Teddy Brewski, he had oh, nothing shit. on me yet that night, I mean, I just crushed her. Oh, you crushed the old lady? Oh, yeah, I, I mean, I flattened her, you. no, 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 her and all her minions couldn't crush me that night, <laughs> oh, but, uh, dude, dude, I mean, I crushed her, and I saw her fall, and, you know, I mean, I was a, I was a good kid. And I thought about helping her up, but then I looked through the crowd, and I just see my dad throwing people. He's throwing people off the way. I'm like, oh, shit. Because, I mean, my dad, I mean, he'll, he'll hit somebody. He's thick. Yeah. And, uh, so I start taking off for the car, and, man, I just I look behind me, and it's it's like I'm making no distance. My dad's got his belt. I watch him rip that thing off his, <laughs> off his hip like it's nothing. Did he tag your ass? Oh, man, he got me four times before I got to the car, and when I put my hands on the car, I, I teed myself mm. up. Oh, hey, geez. Boom, boom. Oh, people, was that on Christmas Day? Yeah, it was. Wait, you went to church on Christmas Day? Yep. Oh, man, that's criminal. No, we used to. I mean, that was, a, that was a pretty, yeah, that was a, that was a hardcore church, but I'm telling you what, we, I mean, never, never, been. we <laughs> never went back after that day. Wow. Uh, because I almost killed that old lady and my dad almost killed me. You get your ass whooped. Got your ass whooped on Christmas. Look, there's nothing better than a nice ass whooping on Christmas morning, man. <laughs> Take it from me. Have you experienced that? I'll get into it. Get I'm, telling you, I'm hoping when I get older that I get that that ability to whip a belt off that quick. Because I am I look back and I'm that. It, it didn't look like he unbuckled it. It just kind of no, like. No, it just. Dude, it looked like he grabbed it from the back. He grabbed it from the back and went. Holy shit. I was like, oh shit. It's like he ripped it through the loops. Pistol Pete, baby. <laughs> That one hitter quitter. No. He beat the, uh, that's you, buddy. Start with genius, man. Dude, he beat me till I couldn't talk. Ain't no doubt. But uh, yeah, I deserve it. Fuck it. I mean, I trucked an old lady with an auction tank. No bad sex stories today. No, no bad sex stories. No, we are gonna get into that later. <laughs> Jay Money, I'm down. Any any uh, favorite Christmas memories, man? All my Christmases were about the same. Talking to that microphone player. All my Christmases were about the same. Um, it really wasn't nothing funny like these other guys had, but like, oh, they were all the same, no sleep at night, the night It's before. hard to go to sleep, yo. No sleep at night, um, try to sneak downstairs to the tree. <clears throat> what time? Uh, when I... Were you a five in the morning kind of cat like me? No, I didn't go to sleep at all. So, oh, I, the whole night I was just up, trying to sneak, my mom, my dad catching me, the... Day of Christmas was more of a um, rip your presents open, okay, Christmas is done type of guy. <laughs> what time did it actually. usually end for you? Well, we'll actually get into that because that's a good question as well. 
But I know for me, after about 9 o'clock, it was just kind of like... Yeah, oh, it, was over, it was over with. Now you play with your toys for about two 30 hours. 30 minutes, throw them shits in the closet. Yeah. Like, damn, that's what I fucking... It was, it was one Christmas, though, where... <laughs> you know what I mean? It was one Christmas where I got a, um, a drum set. Oh, shit. And we were in townhouses. So there's people connected to us. Where were you moving at the time? The same place, um... Over in Okay, okay. Wait a shot your fucking address out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got me? Come through. I mean, you asked. <laughs> nah, you, you, don't, you don't want to leave me. But, well, um, you trained apparently ain't that right next to I didn't hear the question. Though. Okay, well, thanks for coming back to us, buddy. <laughs> Keep going. <pulling. laughs> Love so, the tune out. Love so the zone out, buddy. So I'm a young fellow playing the drums, and you know, a young fellow playing the drums just want to play as loud as he can. So we get a knock at the door, and it's the, the neighbor saying, well, what the hell did you uh, get your kid for <laughs> Christmas because he's loud. Nose in the rain. Yeah, so, so, the white person? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Uh, so my dad, being my dad, he, he said, uh, don't worry about what I got him. Just know that I got him something. <laughs> and shut the door and I just kept playing. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. That was, that was what funny. happened with you and drums? I stopped. Just the you gave me cue, right? I just, <laughs> you know, I, just, I just stopped. I played percussion throughout high school. But, I mean, I high school... That. Uh, Middle school. Middle school. Yeah, I, remember Middle school. That. I remember that too, Jeremy. Were, were your Christmases We're a little competition back then. Anything what? like a Tyler Perry movie? Like this Christmas? Being uh, from a black family? Is that because he's a <laughs> black man? <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Say, say that question again. What was that question? Yeah, was your family, like, naturally, I mean, it's point blank. You're probably got a funnier Christmas than us because you're African American. Yeah, black. And black people are just funnier than white people. On That's average. Bad. So I'm guessing that you're. Christmases were funny, even though you didn't think they were that funny. Like, if you put a white guy in your family's Christmas, it'd be funny. Yeah. That's not a racist question. That's like, it's not, but no, I don't. If you want to G-check Max, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just don't know how to answer that. <coughs> That's okay, buddy. We, I think we knew what Max was trying to do. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, G-check Max right. after the... We'll get that video, too. Yeah, black people are funnier than white people, my bad. Thank you. Any, uh, any good memories you want? Dude, Christmas was mostly about family in my house, so it was just kind of time to sit back. Do you have Do you have siblings? Just me, wow. man. Wow. Yeah, really? just me, only child. So it's going boy. Something like that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you can only, you're gonna be so gold when your parents are on a t-shirt oh, shop, my guy. Yeah. So, <laughs> but nah, I remember um, kind of like Jay. I would stay up all night, like most nights, and just couldn't, wouldn't be able to sleep and. I remember one year I, I got smart instead of going down and trying to open shit before I started looking for where the presents were like a mm. month in advance yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. I, was that kind of bad I remember too. one year I think I was probably like in sixth or seventh grade I found the jackpot. Oh shit! Oh. And mom busted out the Xbox 360. Oh shit! And, yeah. You know, so I got the shit. whole deal, and then you know I like. I found all the other shit, like the games, whatever, and then Christmas Day, you know, that shit gets opened up. Oh, yeah, man, yeah, this like, is yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to play this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, yeah, you definitely got to play it all. But, yeah, so then I, um, then I would do that pretty much every year. So Christmas was kind of, I, I would, like, when, until I got to be about, like, 14 or 15, and, like, Christmas wasn't that big, big a deal anymore, like, Every year since that year, I would I would know what I was getting like a month or two in advance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. that, that and it did kind of suck. Like I regretted it on Christmas Day that like be like, damn dude, that's not really too exciting. But like, yeah. yo, this is hype. Like, <laughs> like in the moment, yeah. I was like, yo, fuck you know, this. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna get. So, uh, but yeah, man, Christmas was, was just like not really a big religion guy. Yeah. We're just like kind of a big family, big big peace guys, big. Big love, big, big love to the world, kind yeah, of peace yeah, to the right. world, kind of kind of people. So that's what's yeah, up. That's, man. that's pretty much it. Maxine, uh, I don't really have much. My Christmases are pretty. Only child. I would. I mean, can you expand, please? Right? <laughs> um, Bone boy yet again. Typically, <laughs> well, typically since I was about fifteen, my parents leave the house at eleven and go watch a movie. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. My mom, dad, and their whatever gay friend was around at the time. <laughs> they, they always get a gay friend. It used to be Steve, but he passed away. So, Rest in peace. So, uh, so it's all gay friends. What about yeah. that other guy? Randy. Who an apple picker. Or Matt, Matt. 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 He's the man. He's cool. And they get my dad. Cool. My dad and Matt. They, have Matt, Matt, too. Yeah, they, have Matt. they take down a bottle of Jack. 
pretty quickly. They go to the movies, I'm sure there's some other stuff involved. They get pretty fucked up. My mom DDs them and they don't come back till later in the night. So typically I'm by myself at home on Christmas. I watch I lay in bed and I drink and I watch NBA basketball. What are you doing tomorrow? Probably laying in bed watching. You come and eat? I'm about to say, yeah, dude, we got <laughs> come on dude. No, I didn't know that wasn't like I'm the vibe is cool. I feel like no, you might have had crush this bottle. No, I wasn't saying that in a negative <laughs> way. I like it a lot. You get the whole house to yourself, and you get to sit around and watch basketball. Beat your dick. You don't have to do... I'm not watch basketball in my crib. A lot of people... Do you Me guys, and our league. Do you guys like family <laughs> get-togethers? Honestly, yeah. no. I don't. Um, I don't. I do. Everything that comes. Yeah, I think it, for me... It's all who's going to be there. There's yeah. people that I don't really like. You can bet your sweet ass I'm there for 30 minutes and peeling out. Yeah. yeah nothing I don't, more, nothing less. Well, we don't really have much family. You know what I'm saying? I mean, most of my... One half of my family's in Vermont, and the other half of my family we're not big on. So we don't do... No, I'm saving for later. Back up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's all, no, it's all good. So on Christmas, we don't do family stuff. Because it's just my mom and my dad, and they go to the movies. So I kind of like being by myself. I don't like family get-togethers, hmm. really. Yeah, yeah, I like them. I like them when it's just my sisters and, like, and now my nephew. And yeah. If it's close cousins, that's cool. But, I mean, anything else... Yeah, just kind of. Dude, I'll, I'll, I'll say for myself, dude, my, uh, first of all, I mean, I love her death. She damn near raised me. My great aunt, she's like 96 right damn. now. And, dude, I'm telling you what, she is the meanest fucking bitch there is. Don't you love old mean Oh, girls? dude, they are, so, what, she's so mean. They're mean because they think being mean keeps them alive. I, dude, and it is. I'm <laughs> telling you, she's still playing tomato gardens. But I'm telling you what, I, when I lost 50 pounds, I, you know, I lost 50 pounds in high school and I came up. I said, hey, Arlene, how you doing? She said, man, you're fat. I said, God damn, I just lost 50 pounds in three months. She said, and then I gained it right back. She never said nothing about it. But, man, I lost it. She still called me fat. I said, you know what? I, you're lucky your family. I'm two PC right now. That's straight up. I think, with, no, I think what the older women is, is like, they've come to a point like, all right, especially if they're over 90, they're like, all right, I, don't give a fuck. I made it here. Like, like my great-grandma, Nanny, I hear it sound, sound like, it almost seems like she don't give a fuck if she can stay, like, come or go. Like, she can get nasty. nasty. And yeah. she's just like... But she's also a sweetie. I love But her. so I, I feel like when you get to that age, it's just like, all right, well... I keep saying, Annie, you're going to live to 100. She said, I don't want to. So I'm just like, what the fuck? Nobody wants to live to be 100. I do. I don't. Yeah, I do. I'd say about hit 70. I'll take 120. 70, Max? 70, 75. Dude, one Your dad is 70. <laughs> He's a... <laughs> Six, 62. <laughs> But that's about dude. Yeah, dude, your dad's dad, sixty-two. Sixty-two. Dude, your dad looks damn good for sixty-two. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's, he's the healthiest. I, I, I wouldn't guess that. He's the guess healthiest. That. So, like, what do you mean? That's eight years more, and he he'll, he'll fucking crow. That's when you want to crow. Well, I mean, dude, once you hit seventy, you're just kind of that's not true. Loitering. Oh. At that point, yeah, I'm telling you, Anna Arlene was doing fucking jail jail yard push-ups when she was ninety. Mm. Yeah, I'm telling you, it, it just depends what you do. Yeah, if you keep, I think if you keep moving, <clears> you'll be in good shape. Honestly, just turn mean. Fuck, it's a yeah, little bit get of 80. Get 80. Just go me. I think it could be luck to luck <laughs> with your jeans. Yeah. And like, yeah. The people, how long so they live, they love you. Shit, one of my, one of my great grandparents like lived to 112. Did they? 112. Yeah. Okay. You serious? Yeah. I'm fucking exactly. dragging nuts. Dude. No, I'm telling you. Look me dead in the face. Duh, I'm dead serious. 112? 112? Dragging nuts, dude. Legit, yeah. I don't think anyone. Wait, maybe I'm not. like a wreck. <laughs> nah, dude, I'm telling you, you got Look, people on their, you got people on their seats. It might be 102. I don't think it was 100. Who is this? My, my grand, my, Nanny's dad. He lived to like 100 and fucking 112. 156. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, I have to see that. He lived to be 112? Out. That's Yo, a world record. Yeah. Let's, let's do the first live let's call. Let's look that up. Death certificate. Oh, no, my phone's dead. I'd like a live call. Go ahead. Make a call off my phone. And we'll really get to the only like memory I have, like the most distinct memory yeah. I have for Christmas. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. The only distinct memory I have for Christmas is one year. Um, we were opening presents, and those who know my dad know that he was pretty much an asshole. So all of my sisters were opening presents and stuff, and we were all just like, "Thanks, mom," because like the first thing that come to my head was always like, "Thanks, mom." It wasn't really like, "Thanks, dad." Yeah. So like, after about like the sixth or seventh present we present we opened, and we kept saying, "Thanks, mom, dad." Like you could see him like turn up like. Oh, all right. All right. All right. So we kept saying, like, thanks, Mom. And I don't know where he goes. Thanks, Mom. 
Huh? That's what y'all think? Y'all think I do anything? So he stands up and he says, y'all keep saying thanks, man. Where's my thing set? So we're just like, all right. Uh, I didn't expect this to happen. All the presents are fucking unwrapped now. He puts on his fucking jacket and leaves. 6.30 Christmas morning. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, dude. Damn. Legit. I'm not even kidding. Let's first laugh. Let me call my grandfather. See how much. Uh, is it Larry? Old, yeah. Let's see how old this fucker lived. Uh, yeah, I, I, like, I like. I like. Dude, he's gonna be like 87. I'm thinking it's 100. Yeah, I like. I like how he was talking about uh, snooping up on those presents. This is it all the way around line. Is that Larry? Yeah, yeah. snooping on. Put it on the front so people are making a call. Let's see if he. Might answers. get Larry in the pod. <laughs> oh fuck that. He can talk about old Homer Wetzel for an hour. Yeah. Right? Man. I'd hate to hear about what Homer Wetzel's done. <laughs> Oh, I ain't saying he's gay, but I ain't saying he's gay, but he put one in his mouth till it got there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this bash ain't gonna answer because it's your phone. Anyway, um, yeah, I think it was that's old Maxwell one. Johnson. That fucking homo. So let me ask you: as a, as a child, were were you were you allowed to believe that Santa Claus was real? Yeah, I was not. Well, I wasn't. I don't that's know. Sad, dude. That's not sad. It's, you got siblings? Like, yeah. But at the same time, it's like, no, I, I bought these fucking presents. Like, yeah. Santa Claus ain't bringing these fucking presents. Same nigga. Well, well, I believed them, but like I think after third grade, I was done. Damn, y'all are... Yeah, it might have been around that time, but I, I, I couldn't. Yeah, I can't before. remember where I was like, oh, Santa Claus. It was yeah. through It was through elementary school for me. Yeah, for sure. I keep forgetting I got well, to do, <laughs> do this. About <laughs> third grade was when I started. It was through elementary school. Because, like, you know, you get to school and, like, you got influence of other yeah, people. Yeah, and you got some remember. kids who are over... You know what I mean? They're running their mouth. They're like, fuck you, said ain't real. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, suck it, pussy. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. <laughs> I had a young Mexican. Hey, yeah. I got a good memory. We didn't go to the elementary, same elementary school, yeah. But, but like, so then I confronted my parents about it. You know, that's a big deal. You know, that's a heartbreaker yeah. for your parents because they know somebody did some fucked up shit yeah. and that kind of fucked fuck with their son their kid. That's true. So then they started pushing on the whole spirit of Christmas with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah see, was that's like, what it was more of You know what I mean? It was like the Santa giving and, and like, you know, Jimmy. just kind of like loving everybody. And whatever, so. yeah. They were some, dude, My parents were smart. They, they knew how to brainwash me to be a good little kid with all the... Right. With mm. all the shitty influences that were around me. <laughs> I had a young Mexican kid. Get that thing. <laughs> I, got, I, got some, I got something to talk about. Yeah. Young, a young Mexican kid in elementary school, he uh, heard me talking about Santa, and I got bullied pretty good for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. for sure. I got bullied pretty <laughs> good. Was this like, middle shit. school? Uh, I'm, no, this is not middle school. This is like second grade. He, he actually took... No, this is a legit story. What's his name? Call his little fuck ass out. I think he... The <laughs> name dropped. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say the word. I literally think he got deported in middle school. What? He did like that's a, that's true. So don't. He might. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, I think you should, I don't know. So actually, this is okay. This is my favorite Christmas memory. Is wow. Um, I'm, in the, I'm, in, I'm in the cafeteria in second grade, and this this I'm talking. I think I'm talking to Rachel DeFreeze to be honest. What do you mean, Santa? Talking? Like we're just I'm oh, like having Ryan, a conversation okay. Ryan, with right? gotcha. It's second grade and this young Mexican kid comes up to me and he says he hears me talking about Santa and he says like you still believe in Santa? Like are you an idiot? But like a second grader would say it's so not that clearly, like, yo, you're a dummy, yo. <laughs> you fucking still believe in Santa and we also had candy. <laughs> we we got candy because it was Christmas and we were about to get on break. And he took my sucker out of my hand. And he had fucked up teeth. He had like black, oh, nasty he, fucked he up he teeth. He took my sucker out of my hand and he ripped it open. He put it in his mouth. And gave it back to And me. he said, you, you a dummy. <laughs> and he walked away. <laughs> and I think I cried. <laughs> <laughs> that, was the, that was the day I found out Santa wasn't real. Same thing. Went back to my parents and said, Dad, like, is Santa real? He was like, no, he's not. But Okay, but, so, so you was just judging me about... What I'm saying, well, but you stopped. Yeah, my parents never once like sat me down and said. I mean, nobody sat. Hey, me down. I bought these motherfucking presents. But nobody sat me down and said Santa's not real. But we never celebrated Santa. Like it wasn't Santa Claus is coming tonight. It wasn't like that so, shit. It was well, never all Santa, no doubt. Santa yeah, only for brought sure. one present. Yeah. yeah it was, if, if, if I saw Santa, it was because I was watching Christmas movies. It wasn't because yeah. my parents were talking about Santa. That's a good point. I think the only presents that came from Santa were the ones that were unwrapped on Christmas morning. Yeah. For me. <laughs> 
And that was only like one yes. or two of them. It, That's a good yeah, thought process. House, it, was, it was one present from Santa. And, you know, he's busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> 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 the best excuse. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was like, I was like, God, dude, Santa sniped me this year. I was like... <laughs> If you went to school and somebody in your class said, man, Santa brought me a shitload of presents, you're like, damn, bro, yeah. you didn't bless me with one? Nah, dude, that's, 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 been busy that's what I want to talk why. about. So, like, me and Ryan Phillips, you know, we've been, we've been friends forever. So, first grade, I already knew Santa was a hoax. Oh, shit. Like, no doubt. <laughs> my parents son told me, I said, you're Santa's. Attaboy, DoorDash schedule. Way to just fucking interrupt it. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna go dash? Go dash, buddy. I'm I just name dropped it and you cut it off, so now Philip's got time to think about me talking about oh, it. Shit. So thanks. But uh, no, yeah, like, get back uh, into it tonight. I'm sorry about that. In a fucking first grade, Miss Hampton's class is me, Ryan, and Kyle Tumpton. That used to be. There's always us together. And Ryan came in. Man, it sucks. I'm, I'm a bad guy. He came in. He came in with a letter from Santa. And I mean, I already know, like I know the truth. Ooh. And he read that thing out to me, and I said, "Dude, you're getting, you're getting hoaxed. I know it. I know it for a fact. I mean, that's not Santa. That's your parents." Yeah. And his mom used to help with that class, and I mean, she kind of sat me down. I was like, "Yo, uh, that's Santa. Like, don't tell me anything different." And, and, and like, I mean, I I told him I said, "Yo, that ain't Santa, cause he ain't a real guy." And <laughs> Nah, it, I'm, I've always been a straight shooter, like, just growing up, and, I, and that was awkward, you know, because we're good family friends and whatnot. So, Miss Phillips sat you down and said, that's fucking Oh, she, kind of, <laughs> nah, she was in there helping, she kind of always says, hey, that's from, uh, that's from Santa. I was like, mm, well, that, that's from you. That's your handwriting. Hey, that's lady, your that's yours. Oh, yeah, I can't help you. That shit just can't. That's Santa. I can't. I, hey, I can't. <laughs> hey, hey, now. Hey, that's <laughs> Santa, eh? Yeah. 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 Before we go any further, quick 30 minute ad break. Thank you for everybody for listening. Uh, go shop at Benny LM TV. Him boys, him boys, him boys. Yo, him boys. And last but not least, go check out Way and See in the Morning. Subscribe to that. My man Waylon, thank you for showing him up. Him boys, him boys, him boys. Take that break. Take a little break. <laughs> well, him no. boys, him boys. Yeah, third Northwestern Mutual on that bitch. Some JG Wetworth. Paul Pierce was a bad person. Uh, we saw that. No, it's a bitch and donated $30 billion. Oh, yeah. It was on. It was on uh, social media. They said he already donated thirty billion. And billion. we're back. That's fucking. That's crazy. Uh, I'm alive, ladies and gentlemen. Man, my Jesus fucking man. shoulders been. The other day, I went to Marcus's house for dinner, and I was sitting on the couch. And shout out to Marcus and Claire. And I was sitting in my sh like my sh like here, Max. Touch my back. Go down, down, down. Right there, started to burn. Ooh. Like, it was, like, in anything I did, it was just burning, burning. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then I've heard of people, when that shit happens, usually a heart attack comes out. I was starting, oh, I starting to freak out a little bit, dude. Well, well, a heart attack more is about, like, if it your starts arm like, starts you burning, it, yeah. yeah, up in there, that's when a heart attack. But then again, it's like, I remember last show, when me and Max were sitting here, and Max was like, oh, my posture. That's a big thing, too. What, posture? Yeah, yeah that's I a big thing. Back up. I thought I was having a heart attack for about six months one time. But sitting, cause my yeah, sitting up like this just makes me feel like half a fag. I, like, I, I understand <laughs> that, but but, but does it, doesn't it feel like it feels relieving? No. You, yeah, me, you know like if I'm like this and I feel like this, it is good to train your posture. Oh. Yeah. So good. you should be sitting like this yeah, at all times. Yes. That's why a lot of people. How much of a fag do I look? <laughs> I think you look good. Yeah. Pretty regular. Dude, honestly, really? you, you yeah. gotta train your posture. That's a big thing. That's why a lot of people like if you go to like an office, an office place, they sit on like. Like those balls, like yeah, because like they gotta to. sit up. Damn. Or they have like stand up desks. It's big thing. Are you guys pretty healthy? No. Um no. Uh, I was at some point. I'm thinking about getting back to it. I think I'm pretty healthy. I'm I'm pretty pretty healthy. I, I think I'm pretty healthy. I mean I mean I think I'm like healthy. Yeah. I mean I can lose some weight, 
But so like, I don't think I'm. As but as far as like my everything goes, like if, if I'm going to a doctor, yeah, I think I'm healthy for sure. So if you get a physical, you think you're gonna pass? Now I will say I've got pretty bad hypothyroid, and I haven't I haven't taken my medicine in about two weeks. <laughs> what is, wait, what is that? <laughs> All right, hold on. Before we get, what are we laughing at? I'm not taking his medicine. Oh. Why are you not taking your medicine? What are you laughing at? All right, all right. I just think it's funny. Do you don't even... Since you said this, if you took a physical, would you pass it? <laughs> <laughs> like, no I don't shit. know what a physical's <laughs> got anymore. Any I, I don't know. What, it's like an NFL physical where you have to like, go through like trials and shit. Man, motherfuckers have a weight. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I will say I got I got hypothyroid. It's something in, something in your neck here. I think it does with diet. I don't know really what it does. Damn. Something about digestion or something, but you can get really bad cancer with it. Holy and, shit. And uh, I haven't taken my medicine in like two weeks, so I probably need to jump on that. But other than that, I mean, I've always had that, and I don't think it's really that severe, so I'm not really worried about it, but... It affects your metabolic rate, too, which is like how fast you might know better. Yeah, Q would probably know the most about being healthy because he <laughs> literally works as a... I remember... Damn. Exercise yeah. physiologist. Exercise wow. physiologist. Like, I'm a clinical coordinator, but. Why don't you tell everybody in here that we're healthy? Well, go ahead and just stretch your dick out a little bit, Q. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that that thing, we, not, got, we got a whole lot of that. That was Q, not what Q. I was trying to do. I got one. Rank rank the five of us from healthiest to least, least oh, healthy. Shit. Dude, if I get last, I'm telling you what, Q, you better run out of one. <laughs> Dude, just do your best. I mean, it's obviously not accurate. You're not the greatest doctor of all time, but I'm just from what you know. From what you five? Us five rate us from healthiest yeah, that'd be, to that'd healthiest. Be funny. Q, I'm dying to warn you. <laughs> Dude, Snack, I'm just going to say in advance. you last. you last. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amount. Yeah, but are you? But hold on, let me ask you this quick, quick interview. Are you still going to Planet Fitness? You still no, I've been a while. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if this. Hold on. You're definitely last. <laughs> I don't know if this goes into play. Jalen had cancer. I know, but Dude, I, 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 I hold on, hold on. For sure, let's not, let's not. Let's, not think about that was years and years if you're ago. healthy or not. Though. Yeah, like, that was like years. right now. No, that doesn't okay. like. Dude, next if he was that's previous condition. That's a previous condition. I just taking everything into. Sorry, guys. But you know, no, you know, okay. you know no, what freaks me sure, out? Honey. It's like I have somebody else's like bone marrow in me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quintus, give me a mic on the fact that this man, Max, has done nothing for his health. I am definitely better. I'm more healthy than Max. Oh, yeah, so rate us. So rate us. Come on. Just rate us from what you know. Yeah, that's a good I mean, point, keep, dude. But I am. Eat, dude, I, I feel like Max eats better than you do. I had a salad yesterday. No, dude, no, no, no. <laughs> that you're, 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 nah, dude, that's the worst thing you've ever said. That's the worst thing you've ever said. All I see you doing is eating a lot of red meat, Hart. Mm, a lot dude, of red meat. Dude, I eat more. I, I eat, eat less red meat. out at restaurants. I eat less red meat, 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 meat than lot, anybody son. in here. Alright, maybe no, I'll shut up. I don't think so. No, I eat less red meat. I don't think so. You had steak dinner for Christmas. So what? I eat fish. I eat fish more than anybody. Here's my reason. Just because we got we gotta calm down. Yeah, yeah, I barely eat meat. We're gonna go Joe, Jalen, and then like Noah's a wild card. I'm just gonna put him third because I feel like he's pretty healthy. He's you know in the H back. You know what I mean? He's lifting some heavy shit. You know, we're going max because I mean, like I said, I kind of got an asterisk there. I want to put you. No, no, I'm sorry. We're gonna go heart first, then Max. Ooh. I want to put you fourth, but dude. No, I'll take. That. I want. I want, heart, I want heart to be able to walk out the door when we're done with this. I, I was saying about that. I'm honestly <laughs> proud of taking the unhealthiest title. But I will aside. say, I will say, at one time, Max was he was balling, dude. He yeah, was going he was. to the he was going to the gym. I saw him eating. Shout he was you, buying man. his own food and eating really good. Shout out to shout out to you six kinda, months ago. Yeah, dude, the, you were you were balling. Dude. The reason you I stopped. Harp, you had harp. In your I can't stop. We were all doing years, that. Dude. At dude. the same time, dude, I was drinking two protein know, shakes Hart. a day, <laughs> eating rice, broccoli, and chicken for three meals a day, going to the gym every day. Well, dude, not almost every day. Yeah. But yeah. I, was, no, but the reason I stopped though. going is I got really drunk and worked out the next day, and <laughs> I was so hungover that I was passed out in the gym and said, I'm just not going to do that anymore. So now, you just drink? I just, no, I really, this is the first time I've drank in three days, which is like good. So. Good for you, buddy. Honestly, I'm, I'm actually happy for you. But I kind of miss it, so I might get back on a roll. Okay. Well, you know. so I'm I'm gonna gonna that rap bout 
<laughs> I'm about to kick the hole through that window. <laughs> Are you eating good though, Sam? Dude, I eat good. The reason I'm big is because of that thyroid and I don't take my fucking medicine. So why don't you take your medicine? <laughs> Dude, it's, it's all about that weight gain. That you not uh, healthy. It's all about weight gain. So why don't you take your medicine? Do you not believe in medicine? No, I'm out of it and I need to go back and this shit's expensive. So, so I I'm not making this, a lot of money. I, me personally, I don't, I don't really believe in medicine. medicine. If that makes sense. It. Like, even though where I, what I came from, like, <laughs> I don't. I'm not a big medicine. Guy. I'm not a big medicine. Guy. I wasn't a big medicine guy either. When I was, when I, when something would happen when I was young and you would get sick, just it was water. Medicine. Like, drink water. Yeah, go, go drink water. Outside. Orange juice. Yeah. And like, so that was all. I'm with for you. Me. My my logic on that, Jay, is the more medicine you take and the more bubbled you are and the healthier you try to be, almost you're making yourself less immune. Exactly. To negative stuff like that so that's why that's why you like being a little dirty dude I, I definitely i couldn't go straight no dip no drinking like straight water and be a health like a workout freak and like take vitamins and stuff because i feel like you're making yourself less immune to like more kids now that like i just my dad said he didn't see very many fucked up like kids from you know like the secondhand smoke commercials where the kids are like I did secondhand smoke, and now I'm in a yeah, fucking I mean, wheelchair. Like, there just wasn't much of that back in the day because there was always, like, people just, like, like cigarettes were in the air, and everyone was smoking cigarettes, and it was a thing, so people were more immune to it. Now when you try and bubble these kids off and keep them in their house and not let them do anything negative, the second something negative does hit them, it affects them poorly. I'd probably disagree with that, but that's just me. So, like, I even though... Vitamin them up, though. Yeah. <laughs> vitamins you probably should take. Yeah, you should probably yeah. take vitamins. Okay, okay, vitamins <laughs> is a different thing. Like, yeah, no... Out of, out of the whole thing I said, the one thing you picked no, out was take the vitamins. That, there's no, a lot to it. I mean, there's a lot to that's it. That's the only. I mean, I understand what you're. I understand what you're saying though. Like, I understand it too, but I also think you should probably do things to make you a little more healthy. Yeah, you can yeah. do that, but I'm saying I'm talking about kids in a bubble, dude. I didn't I say. Get, I know what you're saying. I think what Max is saying. I mean, is that's like, why you let your. It's like the, my bad. No, you good. Go ahead. I was gonna say like I think what Max is saying like the the parents who literally like every time their parent or their their kid like. Calls or sneezes, they like lock them in their room. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, take yeah. With, nah, I definitely agree. People with you who wash their hands sure. 36 times a day and take three showers, and if they get one bit of secondhand smoke, they're like, oh, oh didn't well, do it. Easy, buddy. I, I shower twice a day. I was going to say, we got harp hitting this dude about Yeah. Okay, no, really? Yeah. Bro, stop That's being normally. so specific <laughs> with every little thing I'm saying. I'm saying, like, kids that are I just double. so I into. I know what you're saying. The health and fitness and zero negative things hit them that the second something negative. It hits them and affects them like a fucking like an avalanche. Yeah, just, just like tables. So yeah. is the all right. So here's a question. So the it's first the thing you do when you get home, if you're out for a a, a, a decently long day, I, I guess it'd make more sense to me why I do. But the first thing I do when I get home from work, literally no questions asked, is to go straight to the bathroom, Take hop in the shower, and like it's not strange at all. It's not strange, but like it's where it's you, twice where a day strange. No. Um, I said it's one. not strange. Uh, I'm not I, taking. You said once in the morning. One. I, Dude, I think for you, not no way. It's not strange for me. Not. For like, me, I, yeah, I, I said not you're a lot of work, but it, it's yeah, probably not strange. Yeah, yeah. What I said was a kid who washes their hands 36 times a day and takes three I, showers every I know, day. Buddy. So Come why are we having this conversation? <laughs> it's just another topic, dude. Yo, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Fuck. Dude, Go back. What I will say. What I will say. I think he needs one. What I will say. These people growing up. And their parents are just super germaphobes. Man, you yeah. wash your hands, me. No, it's not even like that. Honestly, if you were scared of germs half the time, if you're somebody like that that's washing three times a day and flossing six times a day, you're gonna have more problems than somebody that's not because you haven't toughened up your body. Yeah. Talk I about talk about so. that was my hey, point. dude. Yeah, talk about was, true barman trout. That was true barman trout. <laughs> I know. True Bottom Trout hadn't been to a fucking doctor since he was six years old because his nice. lungs collapsed and his mom got mad at him because. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, he had some problems. I it might be younger than that. Mm-hmm. But, like, uh. What's your guy? It, <laughs> <laughs> I don't but, know the story. Like, honestly, like, he was young and they were trying to help him out. He was having problems when he was young and his lungs collapsed and his mom completely lost faith in those doctors. I'm telling you what, you could swing a fucking lightsaber at Troop's stomach and it would not hurt him. It's like true. that dude, that dude is so tough. 
He's, he's so tough because he does not rely on the doctors. Yeah, I don't. And I've gotten into that mindset. Oh I think shit, that's a, dude! I went to the doctor <laughs> two months ago because I was caught like I couldn't take a breath without coughing, and that was the first time I'd been to the doctor. I think in it had to have been 10, 11 years. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I don't if like I can, if I can help, either. if I don't, uh, I don't like it either. The other day, I, I'm sure I had like a massive allergic reaction. My eyes swelled shut. I couldn't open them. Took some Benadryl and see <laughs> when I was when I was sick. That's the only medicine that. What Benadryl? Is Benadryl. I, I, I like when I was in the hospital. Like I was addicted to Benadryl. That shit made me sleep like a pussy. Bitch. And like I was like <laughs> like my nurse would come in and was like, dude, like you're a junkie for Benadryl. Like stop. And I was like, uh, give me Benadryl. <laughs> but that's the only pill that you're I was a Benny fiend. That's why you like Benny, dude. Benny, Benny, Bennies. I watch well, it. I fuck with the Benadryl. Man. Yeah. yeah, that's that's the only medicine. Y'all remember in high school and the fucking my lips used to swell up? Fuck no. Remember that? Yeah. You remember that? You were, you were <laughs> that? <laughs> nah, fuck none of y'all were around there. <laughs> nah, I was like, dude, my lips used to swell up like Kim Kardashian's. Damn. I'd, I'd Kim like, or, or Chloe, or and the fattest lips in the family. Imagine those. Okay. I mean, I'm talking. I got pictures. Dude, like my top lip was touching my nose and my bottom lip was touching my chin. Why is that? Dude, listen. So I just showed up one day and I was like, man, my lips are itchy. And I went to Nurse Canup, who's a snitch. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, she's like, Seth, you don't look too good. I said, what do you mean? She said, well, your top lips kissing your eyes and your bottom lips kissing your boobs. And I was like, well, I don't know what's going on. So I went to fucking. Dr. Pence. He's the only allergenist in this area, which I'm telling you what we all need to get into. Boom. Because if you're an allergenist in this area, there's only one of them. And Boom. this dude led me on for weeks. So, I don't know what's going on, what's going on. The lips kept swelling up. And I'm telling you what, nothing ever came out of it. I never got no diagnosis. But my lips were this, like, bottom thumb <laughs> to top finger. Were this thick, and I never got no answers. And I spent fucking a couple thousand dollars to find out what's going on. So you're saying we should all go do that and just leave people alone? I can give you an answer Dude, right now. Dude, you know that fuck you're eating. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's eating bad box. Box? Nah, dude. I mean, he was young. You were a young boy, right? Dude, I didn't have <laughs> sex till I was like 21. Damn. <laughs> Straight up. Is that, yeah, the first we time put on... Is that the first time you touched a box with your lips? Yeah. Holy shit, that's respectful. Think about that. I was a late bloomer as well with I, my sexual intercourse. So I was waiting till marriage. Really? I was. So Holy wait, were, were you told that wait till marriage? No, nobody said. My dad was being mad. Like, man, you ain't enough pussy. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dad was pissed. My dad used to say that shit all the time. I lost my virginity in a Jeep when I was nineteen. Do you want to say who it was? No. <laughs> you don't have to. But that would make we'd be podding then. Yeah, but then <laughs> then I'd have some other issues to do with. So but yeah, I lost my you? lost my virginity in a Jeep. Is that cool. old Jeep of your mom's? Yeah. Shout seat. the girl out. <laughs> Just shout out. Well, it's okay. Nah. Let's hear her. Nah, for real, like it's all good. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but dude, when I was growing up that's kinda how it was. I was like I mean I, I had chances but like I was like, nah, not till I marry you. Wow. I was just scared. I was honestly just, cool, I was just scared of pussy. Yeah. Um, for I think, a while. I think. Yeah, but after it happens, it after it happens, it, it then is like, there ain't nothing scary about it. That's an onslaught. Well, wait, yeah, once you floodgates. Yeah. Once you get in there, there's nothing scary about it. But <laughs> nah, that was the only thing that scared me was a, like a kid, cool. man. Like, holy shit, what if I fuck up and. Oh, dude, I'm so I was worried scared, about yeah. coming quick, which obviously like. But got like, the time, like the first time, like the first time, like I was worried about just what if. I mean, dude, what if, I mean, this pussy, dude, it was terrifying. Think you're bad at. It. What if I'm bad at this? What if I get, have a baby? What if this? And once I got in there and realized it's just a pussy, it was all good. <laughs> <laughs> we, call, we, call, we, call, we call each other. No, it's just, just, just a pussy. No, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize it was just a pussy. Like, I thought it could get a hold of you, eat you. Oh, you <laughs> thought it was like a monster. Like a, you thought it was like it was a, a pussy monster. Like, so, ah! so teeth, teeth on that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah. never heard of the pussy monster? No. Nah. Nah, I would nah. say, yeah, dude. I ain't fucking with the pussy monster. And I used to, I don't know. No, you said some of the funniest shit ever about that dude. What, Max? Yeah. 
<laughs> playing that flute. Oh, that's cream flute? <laughs> Same way. Hey. That little cream stick? I'll say, I hate to take over, but <laughs> for the viewers. <laughs> What's the bass's best instrument? That's the skin flute. That's the skin flute, man. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't yeah. played it in a while, though, I, I didn't get that joke until three years after it was said. <laughs> no, I really thought I was telling people I was nice at the skin flute. <laughs> <laughs> but you ain't played it in a while, right? No. Yeah, you could whistle that thing back in the day, though, couldn't you? Yeah. Shit, you can still whistle it yourself. <laughs> I mean, a couple you're counties not... wide. <laughs> a couple <laughs> counties could hear that If thing. it came down to $3 million, yeah, I'd be the best skin food player. <laughs> <laughs> the quickest skin food player? Huh? Quickest skin food player? For three mil? Yeah. I'd hop on any skin food in the nation. So hold on, if, it if it... <laughs> we always get on this topic. For three mil, you had, you had to fucking... You had to play that skin food in under fucking three seconds. <laughs> I'd give it my best. You'd be rotten. You could. You could be rotten. You could be stern solid. So that's. that's but in three seconds, that skin flute needs to fucking howl. <laughs> in three seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's enough for what? Three strokes? Are you the street in three stroke fucking maestro? Uh, <laughs> I think my minimum, like my minimum performance, was probably like fifteen to twenty strokes. That's pretty badass, dude. Fuck it. I mean, dude, think about. It goes by quicker in your head. Like, you probably went longer than you think, but when you really underperform, you really shrink it in your head to a very minimal amount of time. So I'd say, like, 15 How self-conscious do you get when that happens? Like, after? Do you offer breakfast? I don't. I I've don't. never... No. I've, no. I've <laughs> never... Do you, do you say, like, uh... I've never had me? I've never had a relationship with a woman where like after sex I hang out with them for more than twenty minutes. I was gonna say I'll be Max spends the night, dude. So, Max, <laughs> so, so do you feel shitty after a bad performance? No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I feel shitty? I mean, I so, just had sex with you and came. Yeah, that's true. So what are I, they gonna be like? Max was bad in bed. Like yeah, so, we like, had still, sex. Yeah, so so, so, smashed. so dude, how dude, good do you do feel? Do we need to be better? <laughs> Yeah. How good do you feel when you overperform? Do you feel like when I when I do good? Literally anybody. Oh, dude, I walk around their house butt naked with their roommates there, and hop in their shower without asking, and come out with my fucking beer belly out. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's a knock on us? Do we need to start being better? About just hey, if you don't perform, then just hide your dick and run out. No, not even. Don't hide your dick and run out. Literally that much. Say all right, peace. Like hey, like that was fun. What if they say, no, it wasn't? I'll say, I'll say well, that's all to you. Clap him on the back. I'll say, well, it was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Um, maybe maybe again. Most, most of my endings with women end up like this. <laughs> yeah, that's a shake oh, hand. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the hand was shaking. Was he like this? The yeah. hand was shaking like you just... It's, it's the coffee. Like you just applied for Google. Max, the coffee's full. You haven't drink it. Yeah, I know. It affects it's me that, poorly, oh, dude. Oh. You... Can we get a camera? I can't got coffee. That's some sippy coffee. <laughs> coffee. You got coffee. This co hey, this coffee's not bigger than the candle. Yeah, <laughs> I, I believe that, though, because <laughs> coffee would be fucking you up. So. I love coffee, man. I mean, I, like, too, I, I, too, I, too, but I can't that ain't coffee, coffee dude. That's a, that's a warm I, I, I know what you're talking about, because there was one time where I had a mean cup of fucking coffee, dude, from Danville. That's probably why it shook me up a little bit. Oh, that gourmet, baby. You know what I'm saying, And I had this cup of coffee. I swear to God, the whole weekend, I was freaking out. And it was strictly after I drank the coffee when I was like, damn, I feel fucked up. Yeah, that's what happened to me when I drink any amount. So give me a Why'd you get it then? Because I went to bed at 7 a.m. <laughs> you all right, Max? Shout out to the gourmet co ass. hot chocolate drinkers. Hey, you know what's funny, though, is dude. the other day I was in the um, 7 Eleven. Or was it she? Where did we get that gourmet I don't know, man. It was an Exxon. It was an Exxon. It was an Exxon. It was an Exxon by the pilot. Yep. And um, I got some gourmet. Well, no, Joe got some gourmet. No, I recently got some gourmet. Oh, I was about to say, well, that's Joe, the last time I ever got gourmet. Thought about Joe. Joe, Joe was drinking hot chocolate. We were taking it over the mountain. We were going to go fishing. And Joe said, hey, Larry, you can pull this over real quick. He said, what? And we pulled over on the side of the mountain, and Joe let it fucking hurl. Where'd y'all go fishing? Hell, I was uh, <laughs> sitting there was like tucked up in my yeah, yeah, that sure. might have been uh, freezing my ass. It was like five thirty. That is rushy for it. That was rushy for it. That was a good time. You got that big game. I was gonna say your granddad's bottomless knowledge. Hey, um, we're creeping up to when we've got to stop. Any last words for anybody out there? I say everybody, no matter what, gets a last word. Oh, yeah, everybody's going to get a word. we got 10 minutes until we wrap. So everybody get in, get in what you got to say. If you got to shout anybody out, family members, uh, bitches, um, <laughs> girlfriends, you know what I mean, anything of that nature. 
Um, boys, I know, like Joe said earlier, his jaw's been hurting. I'm sure that, that guy's looking for a round two. Um, but yeah, let's just get a last word for everybody. Um, this has been fun, man. A lot of laughs, a lot of crazy, a lot of whiskey's been drunk by one person single handed. <laughs> you know? Not you, buddy. Uh, I was about to say, yeah, yeah, I haven't drank that much. Yeah, it's just. Uh, on the hot seat, buddy. You got the yeah, fucking hot mic. seat. Jesus, um, you big Pacers fan now out of nowhere? I thought you were fucking. Dude, this is just a hat, man. Fan. I'm a hat guy. I wear hats. That's what I do. Am I a big reindeer fan? No, but I got a reindeer shirt on. <laughs> but you're a Milwaukee Bucks fan, <laughs> yeah, so that makes true. sense. Yeah, no, big Mets fan with a socks hat on. I'm giving you shit. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, just uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to you. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy to be here. Happy to kick it up. Watch hard ground. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of whiskey. <laughs> but that's cool. We'll pay for it later, but <laughs> it's cool. Oh shit. So I like thank everybody for watching and whatnot. Oh, God. And uh, I mean, I guess Joe's pretty worried about me drowning over here soon. <laughs> but I mean, we'll see. <laughs> Matt's got that Christmas sweater on. We're more worried about him. Oh, man. <laughs> don't worry about I, me I don't drinking think a so. We can take a poll, buddy. Don't <laughs> worry about me drinking a little bit of liquor. You, know, you got Matt's. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, I appreciate everybody listening and whatnot. This is my first time. I'm the only one here, which is wild. Yeah. Because I've been on the outcast, whatever. You're but, here now, buddy. you know, I do. I've had a good time doing this. Right. Jesus. I just want to say um, thank you for having me. Merry Christmas. Always. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Anytime y'all want me to come back on, I'll be glad you come back on. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Before I go, I do want to I tell a quick story, um, just because it does mm. it does pertain to the podcast. I was going down to my parents' store the other day to uh, get my Christmas present for my girlfriend, mm. and um, I, I, I went out to the I went to open the door, and there's this guy sitting there. And um, he was talking on the phone. I go in, I get my shit, I come back out, and I'm locking it up. And he, he's on the phone. He's like, yo, hold on, one, one, one second, one second. Um, and he's like, yo, man. And I have my From Start to Finish shirt on. He's like, yo, man, you the dude who does From Start to Finish? <laughs> and I was like, nah, man, it's not me, man. I just got the T-shirt on. He's like, oh, shit, you know, that shit's tight. Uh, he's That's like, yo, cool, I thought you were the other dude. He's like, I know Noah, but... Um, who was I am Noah. So... so Dude, I feel bad trying to guess the name because honestly, yo, shout out whoever it was real quick. Shout out remember. to him. I don't remember. Do you know? Like, do you know who it was? I don't know. He said he knew you and he thought that I was Max. He was like, yo, are you the other dude who does from start to finish? And I was like, nah. Y'all kind of look like that. I'm like, <laughs> dude, they look, dude, they do look like Barber brothers. Yeah. Brothers. Is that, is that what this is? Yeah. No, it's yeah. 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 Like brothers. I wish you were listening to brothers. Um, dude, all right, I'm just going to say, I thought, I think his name is Clay. Do you know anybody named Clay? Clay. Was he a white dude? Yes. Kind of blonde hair. Yeah, fuck yeah, I know what dude named Okay, Clay. dude, that's who it was. Oh, no, that's you who it was. Fucking funny God damn Okay, Yo, well, dude, if it was it? Clay what? Do you remember the guy who used to make beats with Sandy? Oh, you Clay, if you watch this, oh, you're no. a fucking dog, yeah. Yeah, yo, no. I, I, I do know. You had so much doubt. You and I. <laughs> do you remember the, the Money Mitch music video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Street Drip? He was in that music yeah, video. Yeah, that's him. That's yeah, Clay, dude. He is cool. Shout man. Him, that's yeah, so for sure. sure. No, but it, it was cool. just a cool moment. You know, it was almost, it was <laughs> it was cool for me because I'm a fan of the podcast and I, I love y'all for sure. But it was like, yo, damn. Like, we just dropped, we just got the shirts, like, what two three days yeah. ago and some dude can't happen to come up and like yo dude. you want to start to finish and I was like nah. it's sad <laughs> it's really sad because I've met him multiple times so, that's uh, <laughs> but, so he, uh, <laughs> so he doesn't remember me and I really hope that's his name and it's not like Gabe oh no, dude, it is but... Clay and I've met that man many times. <laughs> <laughs> and he, so he, he doesn't remember you that. that impressionable <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just funny as shit, dude. You said, nah, you don't know. You were drunk and shit to know. Right? He said, nah, you don't know. I was like, 
Oh, dude. Yeah, well, no, it's like, you told no straight into his face. You don't know. But, yeah. Oh, shit. That's what's up, dude. Um, but yeah, no, that, that, was, that was cool. I think I was a lot very hyped for y'all that was, in that's that what's moment. Up. But um, yeah, shout out, shout out Christmas. Shout out Santa. If you still believe yeah, in Santa. Sammy. All you right, know, Sam. Shout out mom and dad, you know. Still yes, in Harrisonburg. Going to spend some time with you here in a little bit. There you and, go. Um, yeah, man. Thanks for having me. No problem. Um, okay, you well, you're going to wrap it up. I don't got much. Uh, heart. Finished it. Wow. I didn't see it. <laughs> Hart finished the bottle of wild turkey. He's a dog. He can definitely drink. Um, <laughs> no, it's a compliment. You can, nah, I'm you, with you. You can stop. <laughs> I'm not, just, not disregarded at all. Uh, thank you, Joe. Thank you, Hart. Thank you, Jay Will. Yep. I don't know why I keep calling you Jay Will to my head, but Jay Money. That's okay. And thank you, Q. And you still to like you're still going to get your episode of Oh yeah. Just solo your redemption episode. Dude, not that you we'll not that you fucked it up, but you know what I'm saying. Like you're gonna get No, because I got something to say about that, so we'll save it for that episode. Same well, raise. Same raise. <laughs> well, I hope the hip boys come back too. And yeah, get them on camera and I know Noah usually does the outro, so go ahead now and kill uh, it. I wanna thank you guys for coming. There was more people that were supposed to come. Shout out to you guys. Or not shout out to you guys because you didn't fucking show up. <laughs> you know I mean? um, but thank you guys for coming. I've had I've had fun. I'm glad some of you. I'm glad Harp at least got to come and see the setup. And shout out to Sam. Sam was here too, but he had to leave early. Shout out to TK, Briz, fucking Sandy, Ray, a boy. Daddy hit my phone earlier and he said I'm. Uh, hit what he said. He said I'm. Uh, I'm dreaming the asshole or something like that. I said what? Who the fuck is this? <laughs> and, uh, he said uh, just take this shit. <laughs> and I said all right. Uh, well, I mean, I would take it if I knew what it was. He called me. It was day day. Shout out to day day. I wish he could have came down here. Shout out to Clarence. Um, yeah, man, I've had a blast. Merry Christmas to you guys. I hope you know you have a very good Christmas. I hope to have one myself. As long as I can see my nephew open some gifts, I'm going to be happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dinner's coming. Shit, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to starve myself tonight to wait for that fucking Christmas dinner tomorrow. But I don't have anything more to say, Maxine. You got anything else? Yes. What? Uh, the Laughing Dog is where we got our shirts from. <clears throat> yeah, shout out to I was, I was never trying to hide it. No. I, was... I just forgot to mention it, but The Laughing Dog, I did actually know I did mention it last episode. Everybody that listens to this knows exactly where the fuck it's at because you know where Billy Jacks is at and you know where Jack Brown's is at. Mm -hmm. Smack dab in the middle, walk through those doors, and you will see sweet old Keith Mills. And if you have any t shirt needs, go to him. But if you have any t shirt needs from us, come speak up. to either me or Noah, and we will get you a t shirt for a good price. Uh, Wayne T in the morning, subscribe to that. Benny LMTD, you already know the deal. Go shop. And um, who am I missing? Boy, baby. And, and him him boys, Shannon, baby. Shenandoah Valley. Him. Uh, they're actually, I saw the they're getting closer and closer. Abner's woman has some like lip gloss. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Lip balm. Lip balm. Yeah, that's, that's what's up. Yeah. So that means that they are starting to venture into that, which could be helpful to anybody if you don't like smoke. Mm -hmm. And you know the deal with the Hemp Boys. Yeah, shout out to the Hemp Boys, man. Again, thank you boys for coming. Everybody that's watching, have a Merry Christmas um, and a Happy New Year, man. Thank you all, for real. Anything else? I'm good. Start to finish. Peace. Good episode, boys. Good episode. There's a lot of stuff I forgot that we talked about that I bet when